Three years ago, I was a college student. But in the midst of studying, classes, and exams, I found my real passion. Summer shredding was a dorm room dream. Fast forward a few years, and I realized that this series has forever changed my life. For the next 18 to 20 weeks, I'll be dedicating my life to pushing my mind and body to new limits. I'll be doing this not only for upcoming competitions, but to truly find myself. I invite you to join me on this journey. Welcome to Summer Shredding. Guys, it's currently March 15th, 225 a.m. Uh, summer shredding episode one is currently processing. I just finished up the thumbnail. Javon left a few like 30 minutes ago or so. Um, but I just want to pull out the camera and vlog a little bit because why not? Um, today has been a very, very good day. I've there's been so many emotions like excitement. Um, I've been very motivated, you know, getting back into vlogging, getting back into editing. Um, stressful, stressed out. The content wouldn't, be, you know, the quality wouldn't be up where it needs to be. Um, stressed out, about, you know, the video not being able to upload or whatever. So that's why I'm kind of up right now. I just want to be sure it's good to go. But uh, I'm excited. Like I'm so freaking excited. And you guys, I just want to say the reason I'm pulling this camera out right now is because you guys have given me so much and your support with the series, with my channel, um, with Alphalete, with everything means so much to me. And I'm telling you right now, like what I'm doing, like, I want to give you everything I've got. I will give you everything I've got this entire series, and I'm so excited to do that, to have the opportunity to do that. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to push myself. I'm going to be more consistent than I've ever been. I'm going to work harder on my YouTube channel than I ever have. And I just want to say that. So I'm really excited about it. Um, after this finishes, I'm going to go to bed. So I will see you guys in the morning with the weigh-in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Day two, 190 flat. Yesterday was 193.2. Um, I'm assuming it's lots and lots and lots of water. <laughs> my iPhone keeps changing times between 8 and 9 a.m. to come back and forth. But this is. First things first, and chug a glass of water. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Got a Skype call, uh, nine o'clock, should last about 45 minutes or so, and then upload in the video too. <laughs> Straight from DJI HQ, the Phantom 4. This thing isn't even out yet. Quick story for you guys. First off, Casey Neset, your boss, freaking awesome. I watch all his videos. Uh, probably, honestly, my favorite YouTuber. But you guys saw that drone that we got in uh, California, right? Javon and I kind of went over it. We were flying it, it's awesome footage. But he took it to Belize. And uh, long story short, they were, him, Chelsea, uh, Chelsea family, they were in a boat and Javon was flying the drone, you know, in front of the boat, getting some sick footage for his video. And then he was coming to land it on the boat, nice and soft, it was on path, it was in auto mode. Coming down, coming down, a huge gust of wind blows the drone into the water. Javon's instinct was to just drop the controller, dive into the water, and he swam like 25, 30 feet. He, when he was telling me the story, I was just like <laughs> blown away. but. He was starting to like bring in water. He told me that it just got like pitch black, middle of the ocean, super deep. He saw the drone. He was so close to it, but he had to come up for some air. And uh, yeah, that was the end of that drone. <laughs> so I was just watching Casey's video, and the DJI 4 came out, the Phantom 4. We had the Phantom 3. So I went and picked up the Phantom 4, which is out. I just ordered it. I don't know why I said it wasn't out yet, but it should be here early next week so we can get back to getting some. What's up? What's 
the fourth game you play, right? I think third. I won one, you won one. Golden State versus the Cavs. Let's do it. I'm the Cavs. First quarter, eight to eight. Second quarter, I'm down by one, 20 to 21. Third quarter, 30 to 31, I'm down by one. Yes! Yes! Overtime. One by one point, 46 to 45. Clutch. That was a good game. It was good to just relax. <laughs> by the old town home, which is still at least finishing up to pick up some of these banners. I'll show you guys right now. Because he's gonna say what's up to Danae. And my friend Luke is here. We're about to go grab some lunch. What up, Luke? How are you, bro? What's up, man? I like your shirt. <laughs> Thanks. <Pretty great. laughs> what's up? It is, right? <laughs> I love the spirit. I got the banners. Yeah, I'm about to lay them out for video. Um. I'm having James make a flyer uh -huh. for the event. For what event? Oh, go ahead and tell me. You tell, tell the YouTube what's oh. going on. Oh, it's so gross. Okay, first of all, for the record, I've been really sick for like five days. <laughs> so I'm dying. But um, we're having our first, I don't want to call it a meetup because it's not a meetup. It's an event. Okay. Um, with, with just tell them the dates and tell them who. Chris drum roll, Jones. drum roll, drum roll. <laughs> who, one more time. Chris Jones uh -huh. on April 10th. April 10th. So April 10th. Come to the HQ. Stay tuned for details. Bye. So. I don't know if you guys remember this banner from the very first gym. The CG Fitness banner. And then the second banner we've got. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, it's way nicer than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I like the black. From you, Moro. We've got a few more banners over here. Uh, Quest, I believe we have one more. I don't know where Denise is. Where are you planning on hanging them? Right yeah. yeah. That'd be sick. Get some color in here. But, I'm about to go grab some food. So that's why. <laughs> hey. What's up, buddy? How are you guys, man? We're good. You're good? We're good. <laughs> All right, for lunch, we've got a grilled market salad with uh, strawberries, blueberries, apples chicken and it comes with this uh harvest nut granola which i'll put on top with some fat or light italian dressing and i also got a spicy chicken sandwich to hit some fat and enjoy this meal a bit since i have a lot of macros dramatic press of the button shout out to grady what's up <laughs> creeping, creeping hard. With the tent on here, I can see out, but no one can see in. <laughs> that looks so funny. Charlie's on a hoverboard, by the way. All right, what's going on YouTube? Mic check, mic check. I'm on the Blue Yeti microphone testing the audio. All right, what's going on family? Back with the very first commentary of Summer Shredding. I'm extremely, extremely excited. And today was an amazing, amazing workout. It was structured so well. I actually worked out with my friend Brandon. Uh, and it was structured so well. I didn't feel the best, but you know, regardless of how I felt, I really enjoyed this workout. Uh, so I'm going to take you through it. First thing, three sets of 15 on the lying hamstring curl. Now, what does that do? Everyone says, you know, oh, start on your compound movement, do squats first, squats first. 
doing the hamstring movement just pumps a lot of blood into your hamstrings, guys. It was nice to actually have a pump in my hamstrings. I feel like a lot of times, if you're like me, if you just go into squats without really, you know, with just going in, doing some warm-ups, I feel a lot of times that my quads are pumped up and my quads feel warmed up, but my hamstrings will sometimes feel a little bit cold, a little bit tight. And so it's just nice to get them nice and warm uh, and then do go into my normal warm-up with squats. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I'm getting a little sick, guys. I was about to say, I said that I wasn't feeling too great during this workout, and I honestly think it's just the lack of sleep. Um, I'm really going to try to get some rest tonight. It's currently 10 o'clock. As soon as I finish this, I'm going to go to sleep. And uh, I need to get in, the swing, you know, get in the swing of things with the new, with the season, with the consistent uploads I want to do, and just figure it all out. But give me some time to do that. 370 pounds for five, like I said. Uh, and they were pretty challenging. But what I am focusing on is... Staying on my heel, staying on my heel, keeping my chest up. Uh, I do use my belt when I'm going this heavy. Uh, really, the only reason for the belt is to create more intra-abdominal pressure. It allows you something to push against. It allows, it allows your, your abdominals to push against the belt and uh, just helps you stay tight. So keeping the chest up, weight on the heels, and keeping my head neutral. That Keeping the head neutral is something that I still have to work on. Uh, I used to be really, really bad at it. I used to just like point my eyes pretty much to the ceiling and try to look up and put my neck in a very vulnerable position. But as time went on or has gone on, I've gotten better at it. So keeping it neutral and those are pretty much some key points. Keeping the the upper back very tight and I like keeping my hands fairly close to my shoulders. Uh, After the three sets of five on squat, moved on to quad extensions. Now this was a little different. Uh, The leg presses were actually taken up. So uh, moved on. This was kind of like plan B, I guess you could say, but we did five sets of the quad extensions. Um, and on this, I focused on pointing my toes forward, pointing the toes forward, feeling it, uh, squeezing my quad. We did 20 reps and then 15 reps and then 15 reps again. And then two sets of 12, um, increasing weight as we went. (coughs) Sorry. So five sets there. And then we moved on to this superset, which was 10 reps on the squat press with six plates superset with a sissy squat. Yes, a sissy squat, it's a little baby movement, it's just body weight, but uh, supersetting that with the leg press was absolutely killer, and I would highly recommend trying it out. So 10 reps on that, and then a burnout on the sissy squat. Uh, Next hamstring movement was a seated hamstring curl, focusing on pulling through my heels. So just like with back, you pull with your elbows, focusing on pulling my heels downwards to help get an optimal contraction with the hamstring. Uh, Last two movements of the day were seated calf raises and standing calf raises. Five sets of 10 to 12 on each. So five sets of seated, five sets of standing, and that was the workout. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this commentary. I'm really excited to not only bring you guys a lot of cinematic stuff, a lot of vlogging, but also I want to get back to the roots. I want to talk about training. Let's talk about nutrition. Let's talk macros. I know not everyone has been subscribed for you know years and years, and all the new subscribers, like I'm, I'm starting fresh, right? So thank you guys for watching. Please, 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 please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Oh, this shirt is soaking wet. I have to go grab some dinner with Dad. Fuel up after that leg workout. Scale of one to ten, what what do you think? Huh? Scale of one to ten, how good? Thirteen. <laughs> Damn. That was a big really meal. Really, really big really meal. Good. Very, very good. At my dad's I was going to go work out, but I'm going to watch TV now. <laughs> <laughs> Summer shredding motivation. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys want to see what these are? I have three boxes right here. Sorry. Got some really nice wooden hangers for the clothes. Yay. There we go. I didn't have hangers before, I just kind of folded everything. I need to take those clothes to Goodwill from the town. Three boxes of clothes, big boxes of clothes that I'm taking to Goodwill. I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, okay. 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 I'll do it tomorrow. All right, let's go home. Where is it? Dox, where is it? Where is it, Dox? Yeah, see that cat up there? That's the one that goes to the house.
<laughs> Hello. <laughs> Guys, don't worry. Now and Ox see each other pretty much every single day. Pretty much every day. But if you guys are wondering, my dad is currently. Uh, my dad is currently taking care of Knox. Um, I want to take her to my house in a few weeks, but I just want to get in a groove with uploading with uh, everything first, because to be honest, two Huskies is a lot to handle uh, for just myself. So, yeah, my dad loves Knox, so he kind of honestly wants her there. Um, but I still would like to take her to my house, at least a few days a week at minimum. But. Now is very trained. She's easier to deal with. She can be outside by herself. She doesn't need much attention. Um, so it's a little easier to be honest. I love her. I love them both. Though. All right, guys. So I figured I would do a really quick update, uh, just like an ab update. Oh, look who's ready to come inside. Are your feet muddy? Like I was saying, I figured I'd give you guys a really quick uh, ab update. Not a full physique update, but an ab update. Let's check it out. Turn the light on. Oh. If you guys are wondering, like I am currently wondering, got shoes on, I'm gonna step on the scale. Right now, I have 194.2 pounds. This is what the abs look like. Yeah, I know in the last video, I got measured at about 11%. To be honest with you guys, as I sort of predicted before I got measured, I'm assuming I'm more towards the 14 to 15% range, um, just because I know how much leaner I can actually get, and this is like the peak of my bulk. So, Abs. Tricep. Oh, God, my shoulder's sore. Uh, <laughs> tricep. I notice that when I flex my tricep, my abs completely go away. <laughs> but tricep. Other arm. Oh, really not impressive, but just being transparent, being real with you guys. That's the app check. That's going to conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.